Hey guys. Uh, so we just read After the Fall and we were talking about um, birds. And we're going to be talking about how to design uh, an egg that has clothes. So I would suggest starting with an oval or a circle. I'm drawing it with pencils so that I can go back in and erase out parts that I don't want. If you want to start with some legs and arms, you can do that. So I'm just going to basically mark out where my arms are going to come out. So I want this arm to go up like that, and this arm's going to come, uh, this arm's going to wave. Okay? Don't need to do anything more than that just to block them out. Then I have to think about my legs. Okay, this little one, some leg coming, a leg coming out there, and a leg coming out there. So basically we have stick legs to start. I'm going to add in some eyeballs. You can make your eyes however you want. I'm just going with the similar style as the artist in After the Fall. And he created uh, eyes that are just circles with little pupils inside. I'm going to actually add some eyelashes here because why not? Because they're fun. And if you wanted to make your uh, egg a little silly, you could change where yours was looking. So mine, I am moving where this guy's looking and she's actually starting to look. What direction? She's looking down. I need a nose. I'm just going to make a little L or check mark there for my nose, keeping it easy. Your mouth is up to you. Uh, this one is going to have a little bit of the M for the mountain for the lips or the V underneath for those very, very fancy lips there. Your lips could be just a upside down rainbow or curved line for a smile or a frown, depending on how your egg is feeling. Uh, my egg, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be wearing earmuffs because it's a little chilly out. So I'm going to add right here. The muff part, notice you can still see that line through. So at the end, I'm going to need to go back in and I'll race out the middle of those earmuffs because you cannot see the egg through my earmuffs. Uh, if I go back through here for a second, we looked at a woman who was wearing a dress. She also had hair. She also had hair and the boy had hair. So if we wanted, we could add a little bit of hair to ours. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add... A little bit of hair coming down my girl egg here and I think I'm going to give her a bit of a ponytail that's a ponytail holder okay so now I have the face of my egg pretty basic uh, my next thing I'm gonna do is add the clothes on so this one is going to be wearing a dress so I just cut out a place where I'm gonna have the arms come out of um, actually it's gonna be a shirt with then a kind of a fluffy skirt here okay I don't want to get too much detail into here because I haven't finished all my other parts I can go back in and add more detail so she has a skirt on maybe we add a little bit of a waistband right there too okay I have my egg, I have my skirt, voila! And I need to go back into my feet. So I'm gonna just draw a second line right down and I'm going to connect it with a with an oval for my shoe. If you wanna make your shoes more fancy, go for it. I might go back in and say, okay, my shoe, it's got an angle like this. So I'm gonna change it a little bit. That's why we're drawing with crayons. So we can just make all these changes right to our beautiful drawing. She's wearing sneakers, so I need to have the bows on it. So don't be afraid to add lots and lots of detail to your beautiful uh, egg. Maybe it's a Nike sneaker. Okay, you could do the same thing with your other egg, uh, other shoe, or you could have the egg wearing two different shoes. Maybe they got up and were a little confused this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a second line right next to my first line for the arm. If you want to make it a little more realistic, it gets, it goes from wide right at the shoulder all the way to a little skinnier at the wrist. And then I'm going to give this wonderful egg five fingers because I have five fingers and it's what I know. I don't know if 
an egg would have five fingers because I don't think eggs have fingers and um, eggs turn into birds who also don't have fingers. Anyways, so we have this pretty cute little um, drawing of an egg. I can go back in and erase out this baseline of the bottom of the egg because I can't see the bottom of my egg through bar two two. When you finish, go ahead in and you can add color to it. You can add more detail. Maybe I want hearts on my shirt. I'm gonna add different patterns, color in the hair. Uh, maybe I'll finish my other shoe. Uh, here was a really basic example. This one I chose not to add hair to. Uh, but this egg has pointy shoes with a belt on and it is a dress. Everybody can draw a different type of egg here. You need to think about at the end, what kind of lines and shapes did you use? Well, I used circles and I used an oval for the body, okay? Uh, I have a triangle down in here, another triangle right here. Uh, let's think, maybe a triangle right there too. Now for lines, I have diagonal lines. I have a curve line down there. I have, uh, let's see here. <laughs> I have a vertical line and I have a zigzag line. Can you see any other lines? I used a lot of different lines today. Okay, I hope your egg is as interesting as mine. I'm gonna pause it right here and do a little color. So I just colored in my um, lovely little egg and I might end with adding a little color on my hands. Notice mine isn't perfect, but I tried really hard with the materials that I had. Uh, and that's all I'm expecting from you today. I'd love you to name your egg and think about what kind of feelings this egg might be having. Uh, it might be ready to hatch very soon, so it might be getting worried, or it just might be excited. My egg might be going to a dance class. I don't know. Uh, when we're done with this, now it's time to think about what kind of bird is going to crack out of this egg. I hope you guys enjoy drawing your eggs. You can pause it if you need some time to work right now. Uh, our next thing we're gonna be working on will be our birds. So basic shapes that we found that worked really well when we were making our prints were circles and ovals. Circle for the head, oval for the body, maybe some triangles for the beaks or curved lines. Um, I'm going to actually combine a couple birds to help us think. I'm using a pen, I'd suggest you use a pencil to do this. So some things that I know, I know penguins have a head that's kind of like this. I know that parrots have a beak that's kind of curved like this. I'm gonna follow that rainbow right back up and add another line right there. So I have a couple curved lines, get some details in there. My eyes, they're gonna be playful, so they don't have to be real looking. So maybe my eye is gonna be big like this, and I'm only gonna see one of them. And again, this eye, for some reason, is looking down. It looks a little tired and sleepy. Or he's excited about something on the ground, I'm not sure. So I kind of used the idea of a penguin head, and then I added in other parts so far. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and add an oval for my body. Uh, so it also needs wings and feathers. So I have my beak, now needs wings and feathers. Maybe some of the birds need some feathers coming off the top. It's your bird. You do not have to make your bird like my bird. I would suggest making it very different than my bird, right? Making it as unique as you can. Just adding a little bit of a flare on these lovely feathers. Uh, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is add some wings. So my wing, I'm just going to have a real basic wing right here because my bird has been pretty fancy so far. And just like when we were doing printmaking, make sure you add in some details for texture for those wings. The way it, texture is the way something looks like it feels or the way something feels, right? Uh, so that's my texture for my feathers. I need some feet. I'm going to make this guy have the penguin feet super tiny. Super tiny, just little feet here. Can't see it because of his body. But I'd also love some big, long tail feathers. OK, 
Okay, this was just one example of a pretty creative silly bird right here. Uh, here's another one that I made. Um, this one is not finished, but I started and I made some really like almost peacock like feathers in the back. Uh, and then I thought about some flamingo legs and I'm not really sure where these guys came from. And here's another example. Um, this one I, I was thinking about eagles or falcons with their really sharp talons um, and with parrots and really long tail feathers. Uh, this one has a, a different kind of eye as well. Uh, when you're done drawing them, please make sure that you go back in and color them if you have the opportunity to use color. You can paint it. I'd love to see how these all turn out. Uh, and I will add in my email information for when you are done. Quickly, let's review. First, you're going to give your egg some clothes. It can be pretty silly. Don't forget a face and don't forget some hair. Um, after you're done giving your egg some clothes, you're going to go ahead and you're going to draw a pretty silly imaginative bird. I'll have a few sites on the slide deck that will help you uh, get some ideas. There's some amazing birds out there. Don't be scared to take a quick field trip and online and check out some of those birds. I hope you guys have a great day. I miss you a lot and I look forward to seeing these pictures. Bye guys.